you. Awful like you don't know. You did this. You sabotaged my entire party. Drove all my guests away. Fixed it so Scott couldn't get here. You have humiliated me. No, that's Annie. That's not what I was oh, trying. Don't, to... don't even try to make excuses. Here, you won. You won, you bastard. Rough day. Oh, oh, what? No, 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 me? No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Are you kidding me? I love mopping jailhouse floors. It is so invigorating, yes. The good news is that I get to actually clean the bathroom at the hospital tomorrow. Oh. Well, you look you look awful. Thank you very much. I needed that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you know what? I want to know what you're going to do about Gabby's birth records. Um, well, what are you talking about? Well, I need you to call Zach and tell him that we're having a hard time with her preschool application and that you need her biological father to come and straighten things out. Oh, now I get it. You need Zach to come back to town. I just met with D.A. Colby. That, that was fun. She informed me that if we go to trial, she'll be pushing for murder one. So I need you to level with me, right here, right now. Why didn't you turn that vial of digitalis over to the police the minute you found it? Look, whatever your story is, I'll make it work. My story? You know, it's starting to get really annoying that my own lawyer thinks I killed my husband. Well, you just don't learn, do you? You were about to tell Caleb that you were his son when I walked in, weren't you? There's something you want to say to me? Sure, I'm just here to see you. About what? Hey! Hey! Caleb? Oh, if it isn't Dorothy. It is you. Here, drink this. So I'll feel better? It couldn't have hurt. No, that's your department. Why did you do it, JR? Wait, I know why. Because because you're alone and you're miserable and you needed me to be miserable too. No, that's not true. You, you needed me to be a failure because you failed at everything? Annie, you're looking at this the wrong way. Oh, look at you. You've already lost your wife. You're about to lose your son and you're probably going to lose your company. To no, no one is taking anything from me. If why? Why? Because you'll burn them to the ground. God, I was such an idiot. Giving you my bone marrow? I saved your life so you could just turn around and ruin mine? God, oh, I can't believe I, I really actually cared about you. If you're not going to take Don't, no, don't yeah. you dare touch me. All right. Don't all right. you ever, ever touch me again. Do you hear me? Ever. I, I hate you. JR, I, I really, really hate you. Annie. Annie? I am tired of waiting for Zach to come back to town and yell at me. I'm sick of it. Okay, so yes, the birth records thing, that, that was sort of a lame idea, but we'll come up with something better. No, 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 not me. <laughs> okay, well then I will come up with something better myself. You know, you hang out with a mop and a bunch of mucky water all day and kind of puts things in perspective a little bit. Oh, okay, and those, those swirls of mucky water told you to ambush your husband? No, they told me to fix things. Okay, okay, so what happens when, when Zach comes back? What, you you lock him in a closet? Yeah, that actually, my, that, that's a good idea. Oh, God, another surprise maneuver. That, that is exactly why he's so upset with you in the first place. I mean, how about a little honesty? 
honesty? Yeah. No, no. Thanks. Honesty does not work when you are so completely wrong. Okay? Zach is so angry with me still. And he has good reason to be. I mean, I could be in prison right now. And I left Zach in the dark again. He should be my priority. If I had to choose between him and getting caught up in the whole Ryan and Greenlee craziness for the millionth time, I should always choose him. Why do you think you don't? I don't know. I don't know. It's like I get so involved in, in, in this thing with Ryan and Greenlee. I mean, we've known each other for so long. We've been through so much together. And once I'm in there with them, it's like I, I just I can't cut loose. So you, uh, you fell off the wagon. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I kind of, I, I don't know, you think there's a rehab for dysfunctional friendships? I wouldn't call you guys dysfunctional. Oh, really? Okay, what would you call us? Layered. Layered. I like that, that's good. Well, oh, there's so much history there. No matter what, the three of you will always be connected. I know, but I cannot let that connection be stronger than the one that I have to Zach. You know, it's bad enough that the police and the DA and everyone else in this town thinks I'm a murderer. Is a little faith from my attorney too much to ask? If I'm going to be sitting in court for trial, it'd be nice to be sitting next to someone who believes me. And I still think you should consider not going to trial. Why would I take a deal if I'm innocent? Because it could be your only chance. I thought you were my only chance. Look, Mrs. Hayward, I'm merely suggesting You're that... You're fired. The... Excuse me? Fired. Take a hike. Pack up your fancy suitcase, your shiny suit your bad attitude and get out of my sight you're making a huge mistake the evidence against you i'm the best lawyer you're gonna get you'll have to forgive me if i disagree sorry about grabbing you like that before lightning and thunder have just always really terrified me but i'm, I'm fine now good i'm glad are uh, Kendall and Bianca home? No, they've been out most of the day. Well, do you have any idea when they're coming back? I don't think uh, anybody was expecting you back tonight. No, it was a really last minute decision. Are the kids asleep? Yeah, the sitter put them down. Well, this is very different. Civilized look to you now. Mm. Civilization apparently agrees with you. Well, your face anyway. Thought you weren't coming back till next week, Dorothy. And I thought maybe that name would have gone away in the last three months. You'll always be the girl who fell out of the sky to me. And here you are again, showing up out of nowhere. What happened to your pre-wedding honeymoon plans? Well, Jack and I were having the time of our lives. Yeah. But he had to be here. He had to come back to town because of his daughter, because of Greenlee. And, of course, I had a lot of unfinished business myself here in town. I'm gonna go check on the kids. They're just little angels, just every one of them. Well, they're all angels when they're asleep. Bianca told me you are very good with them. Especially Miranda. Not really. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, you saved Miranda's life. I really didn't do that much. I was told you were quite heroic. I just wish you had been that heroic when it came to Cortland Electronics. What were you thinking, Caleb? How could you do that? Just let JR steal the company like that? He won't have it for long. You think there's really a way to get the company back? You're damn right I'm going to get it back, and I'm going to stick around and run it. I even changed my name. To Cortland? I did it for Pete. Well, Palmer Cortland was a very 
wonderful and powerful and courageous man. Gonna take a lot to live up to that name. You don't think I can do it, do you? I think it's gonna take a lot more than a shave to get the company back. <laughs> Hi! Where are you? Hi, Mom. I'm here with Kendall. Where are you? I'm here at Wild Wind, Bianca. Right now? You're back? Yes, Jack and I just landed. But I, I thought the, the plan was that you were coming back. Why don't you just come over here as fast as you can? Because I really need to hug you both. <sighs> so, Bianca and Kendall will be here very soon. Good. Because I gotta go. Okay, don't let me stop you. You're gonna be all right? Of course I am. I'll send you a check. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I heard about your arrest. Why didn't you call me? Well, when you left town, we weren't exactly in the best place. And did you think I would really care about that? My God, Dad, I stood by David after what he did to Erica, knowing how you felt about her, knowing... That I've made a lot of mistakes. You get no argument from me on that count. I guess I need to say that I'm sorry for what I put you through, for pushing you away. You probably saw this coming. You knew my marriage would end badly. Yes, I did. What the hell were you thinking? That branch landed two people and you could have been killed. Oh, that would have just made this night complete. No, don't say that. Oh, don't. Don't you dare try to pretend like you care. Not after what you did to me tonight. Oh, come on, Annie. It was just a party. It was so much more than a party. And you know that. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone so out of your way to ruin it for me. God, JR. This was my chance. This was my chance to be someone. You are someone. Who am I? Crazy Annie? Who am I? What am I, the gold digging slut who married Adam Chandler and then cheated on him with his son? God! Women like that, women like me, we don't get respect. We get we get made fun of, we get spit on, or, or worse, we get ignored. Tonight. This was this was gonna be my time to prove them all wrong. Tonight was gonna change all of that. I was gonna walk in that room and people were going to pay attention. And they were gonna listen to me. They were gonna look at me with respect. You don't understand it. You don't get it. When you're born a Chandler, you're even at your lowest of low, you get respect. You're, you're always seen. I just want to be seen. And I try so hard, and it never works. Look at me. I'm still nothing. God, I'll, I'll always be nothing. 